Hey guys, welcome back to Master Vision Digital Printing course for digital printing, digital printing business and technology sharing. So uh, this video teaches you how to do the daily maintenance and um, monthly maintenance, update print, the job. So before you do the maintenance job, you need to prepare, get the industrial alcohol and the vibristin 99.9. So the alcohol you can industrial alcohol you can buy from the shop market, and you must be sure uh, the alcohol must be ninety-nine uh, point nine pure without any water. Industrial alcohol. So if you have water, if it's not working for for maintain print head, because the water will affect effect with the UV ink to get the head clock, get the cap station cap station clock. So it's very important. So after you get this, you still need, also need to you can find the the, t, the tester tissue that sent from Focus for do the maintenance job, and also an, uh, uh, a cup. So we take out the alcohol and filter to the water. We filter to the bottle. So not too much. Okay, then we're ready. And first we pop on the machine, and then we open the cover. And we here we move the cartridge out of the home position, we place by left. Now it's not, now you cannot because the emission button, emission button on. Put, put on and we can move, move out from home position. Okay, then we can go to the cap station position. Changing. So we can see after daily print, the cap station and the vapor is very dirty. Every 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 day after print, so you need to use the alcohol and tissue. We mix some uh, alcohol. And most important is it must be. Uh, 99.9 pure industrial alcohol, and we clean the rubber of the cap station. Be sure it's not dirty, and make this last as brand new. And also for wet, must clean it. And the varnish cap station was clean it. Then we clean the cap station. Also, we mix some uh, alcohol. We clean it as brand new. And then we clean the waste ink at the panel. And at, at the bottom of the, the flushing dish. That's brand new. So this job must do every day. <coughs> every day after the print, we need to do it by this way to clean the cap station, clean the wrapper, clean the flashing dish, the panel, to, to maintain your print head wear and print wear. Okay, then after we clean this, we need to Okay, after we clean the cap station, then we open the open up the emergency button and we press the 
cap station, the carriage back to home position. And we need to open the software. Close the software again. When you close the software, the control software of our budget, the cap station will be automatic to move up. But also before we pop off the close the software, we need to press X home to be sure the cap station at the home position. So X home, X home first, then we close off the software. So so if the machine with the computer and see cap station is moving up to suck the print head. So when right now it's sucked ready, the cap station is moving up. So when we move, push, we move the carriage, it's sucked, it's locked. We're not shaking or no, we never uh, loosen if uh, it's locked by the cap station. Then we, need, we can pop off the machine. At the left the bottom of the machine, we pop off the general power. And also we pop off the UV box. We power off the UV box. But before, but before we power UV box, we must be sure and check again that every day that they have a water circulation back, the, the water can be go and back again to the tank and it have enough water for circulation. So also the UV box we need to check every day after print, be sure the UV box is working well. And then we come back and then we power up the general power. General power. And also, we need to check if the table is free without nothing stay at the, the, the table to keep the table clean and without anything. And after we pop up the machine, we double check again the carriage. We see the carriage is locked. We cannot, we cannot move by our, thing, our hand. So that means that wet color varnish print head is get thrown and uh, locked by the capsation. So if if it's loosened, if it's loosened, so the print head will be get clogged as it will meet, meet the air. So this is very important. So please double check the carriage every day. Be sure it's locked well. Now, not don't have any air going inside. So, so, so after this can do this kind of job, we still need to go to check the wet ink tank. So we go to the Right side of the machine, we open the window. Then we can insert this waste ink tank. Okay, when we open the, the, the window, we can see the door, we can see this is the waste ink tank. So because doing printing, they have lots of waste ink flushing, doing flushing, doing cleaning, that all the waste ink are go to this ink, waste ink tank. So every day after print, we need, to, we need to check, we need to release the waste ink from the ink tank. So we need to first, we off, we off knob, the block, and we find the waste ink bottle. And we put here inside. But this way, it's lower, a little bit lower than the way, the switch, then we open the switch, check if we have the waste ink flushing. And I must be sure the tube is not bent. Okay, after the lift, lift uh, release, we need to cover back. We clean with the paper. And we close the barrier. Close the switch, switch we install back the cover and I put the cape, put the tube inside. And also uh, 
Here, this is a battery. The battery is for alarm. Battery is for alarm. You need to push down, push down the battery. The button is for alarm. But you must pay attention to that because it's a button battery. Maybe it's maybe it's maybe of power for using for one month, two months. So you need to change the button battery inside at the top of the um, <coughs> waste ink bottle. This is the sensor and the alarm sensor. The alarm sensor too. In when the waste ink bottle, the ink is full, so it will have a light flashing. The light will be flashing and also have the alarm sounds, BBB sounds, to, to, to attention you to release the waste ink. But also we need to do every day to release the waste ink, otherwise the waste ink will be flashing back to the pump to get the pump problems and capstation problems. Okay, so, so this is the daily maintenance of the everyday job. So after, the, after we did this kind of job, for example, you're not working for the machine, the machine for one month, two months, or you're not working for a long time. So also we need to pay attention to the ball screw here, one, two, three, four, the ball screw, four ball screw for up and down. And we need to get some uh, a rare, the, the, the rubber, rubber oil to be sure that the ball screw will be uh, moving freely without any block. Okay, and also the here is the the cap stay, the cap stay ball screw also need to fill some oil to make the motion wear motion wear without any dust inside. And also we need to pay attention to the rear for carriage. And also we need to uh, maintain the rear there for carriage to be sure it's not dust inside and also no ink liquid inside, so we need to clean it every week to be sure the rear is working well and no, no anything block the catch moving. And also, because when doing printing, the waste ink will be some little ink will be spread to, spread to the ink of fear. So also we need to get some uh, alcohol. Please, please remember this alcohol. It's not head clean solution, okay? It's alcohol and also it's a, 99% pure industrial alcohol and put some uh, put the paper meat with some alcohol and clean the ink of film from right to left to be sure it's be sure it's be see it's dirty as this and also you need to be sure, as we taught you before, you need to be sure to check in. The ink of fear must be at the middle of the ink or sensor inside. We not scratch, nothing scratch the, the back side, front side, top side of the ink of film. The ink of film is very important to make the print head catch position to get a high precision pr printing. And also if you not print for a long time, as uh, two week, two months, so it's better to take out the carriage, carriage cover and take out the print head and flush in the print head clean and pack, see your package wear and put it on you. Uh, 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 so if you're not used to the machine for a long time, for more than two months, so it's, so must be so suggest you to take out the wet color varnish print head and uh, flush the clean head clean with, with clean solution or alcohol to, uh, uh, industrial alcohol to make sure the print head is clean without any ink inside and seal the print head and the packet wear and put on the uh, uh, freezer to to sure the print heads not get clogged or get uh, damaged. So, um, so this is very important because print heads very important and also keep the table free, nothing stay on the surface of the table and then we cover down the machine cover and also keep the machine clean without any dust inside. And also for the ink bottle, CMYK, wet varnish, LCOM, OM, also we must pay attention to that fasten, fasten all the ink bottles cover wear to be not uh, make the air inside. But when you're back to work, when you're back to work, you, we need to open a little bit the cover for each bottle. <clears throat> and also uh, do the small cleaning and to check the nozzle check as before. If the nozzle is not good, so we need to do a big nozzle check, nozzle check, and to make sure the print head get all the color channels print very well before before you print a job next time. Okay, so this is all the working procedure for Focus Alpha UV printer from Master B.
some, if you have any questions doing printing, doing installation, doing maintain, so you can ask Master B or you can ask you can ask the team for, to get a solution. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.